Step one, insert the rubber grommets into these two brackets. It's on. Okay, just be careful when you put this bracket on. The washers that they supplied were too big by a couple of mil and they are hitting the engine casing. So, here, yeah, swap that over. And hopefully no oil leaks. So yeah, that, and then torque it on to what the specified settings were. And that's the first bracket on the right hand side for the skid plate. Let's go. Okay. Even we put them on. These, wash these washers, how do they look? Don't touch. Don't touch. It doesn't touch. Okay, now we torque these to six newtons. We'll just leave that loose until we get the skid plate into position. The rear bracket, you've got these two bolts and two washers and it goes and runs as a strip and holds the two bolts here and there's one bolt that runs off the bike stand 
So it's pretty simple to put the bracket in. There's a few other select uh, options to put this on. Um, just refer to the manual, especially if you change the center stand for SW Motec center stand. I didn't do that, kept genuine Suzuki to lower the cost, but there you go, that's that bracket install. It's pretty simple. Just make sure that you put it on a rear bike stand. You can't, you, you've got to have the bike not on the, sen, on the center stand or just the bike stand. You have to put it on um, bike spools to lift the bike up. That's the only tricky part of that install. A little tip when installing the skid plate, do the two side bolts each side and then put in the lower rear two and then finish off with the front two and it should all tie together nice and neat. With this example, I've put the fake carbon sticker on the front to break up the bulkiness of the, of the look of the bike. Ultimately, yeah, the skid plate's there to protect the engine um, and especially the oil filter if you go off-road. Um, one thing I'd like to do, we could probably cook a meat pie in the bottom of it and wrap it up in our foil so it's a mobile oven um, BMW riders you don't have that privilege but yeah, us Suzuki we can do that with this skid plate um, but overall yeah I, I like the look of the bike it's come together pretty well I'll just zoom out so you can see it and that's the finished look of the bike overall yeah I hope this gives you a bit of inspiration on your next adventure bike build and that's the solution I've come up with for the look of my bike. And the next video, hopefully I can review the Suzuki in complete detail. But yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching. That's the um, build bike build complete.